If you want a shout out in my next video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment what's on screen the most. And I will be shouting out the winner in my next video. Today's winner is you, my guy. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a way to fix the audio delay problem in Fortnite. If you're someone who's experiencing audio delay or the audio cutting out while playing, then this video is for you. Make sure to subscribe for more. So the first tip that I have is setting your Fortnite priority to high. This ensures that your CPU or GPU focuses on this program first by allocating the most resources to said program. You should already be playing Fortnite on high priority if you have a low or medium end system because it gives you more frames and it makes your game more stable. If setting your priority to high doesn't work, then try playing on normal. So with my old PC, I had this problem when I was playing Fortnite on normal and when I set it to high, this problem stopped. But for the other systems, it might be the complete opposite. Like you could be playing on high and this could be happening. So just try switching it between normal and high and just see which one works. So to change the priority of Fortnite, which you guys are going to do is first make sure your game is open and next just press the windows key right click on the taskbar and hit task manager and this window should pop up now you should see your fortnite game press on it and then right click press go to details and this new window should pop up so the one that's highlighted is the one that your actual game is if that makes sense so just right click on this one go to set priority and change it to high this should pop up just press change priority and you have successfully changed the priority of Fortnite. So the second tip is to make sure that your audio drivers are up to date. This could be the main reason why you are actually having this problem. It's because you're playing on older hardware. Try your best to be updated with all of the drivers on your PC, especially your audio and your graphics card drivers. There's a software called Driver Booster that can actually help with keeping track with your drivers and tells you which ones need to be updated. I will leave a link to the software in the description down below. So once you download the software, just click on it. You should be greeted with this front page right here. Just press scan. Now, once you're here, just press this little check mark and it's going to select all the drivers that need to be updated on your PC and just press update now. This window should pop up, just press okay. And the program will start updating your drivers. Once you're done, your PC will ask you to restart and that's mandatory. You have to restart. So restart your PC and come back to this video so another thing that you can actually do is with the same software is just go to tools and press fix no sound so basically what this is going to do is it's going to go through all of the audio devices that you have on your system and find the one that actually works just press fix and it's going to run you through the fix now it's going to play a sound and whenever you hear that sound that means that that audio device is working you should hear just a default windows sound and if you don't don't hear it press try next solution but if you do hear it press yes it works and you're done now if you can't hear it after doing this fix then what it's going to ask you is to roll back to an earlier driver try that as well to see if that works so if the last two methods didn't work then I suggest trying to restart your audio device to do this go to your search bar and type in device manager now once this window opens go down to sound video and game controllers click the drop down menu now find the audio audio device that you have. For me, it's going to be Realtek Audio. Right click on it, press disable device. It's going to ask you to restart your PC. Press yes. Once you restart your PC, come back to this video and follow the same steps. But this time it's going to say enable device. Press it and you're going to have to restart your PC one more time. And that's how you restart your audio device. I've made many other videos covering certain topics in Fortnite. So if you guys are interested in seeing one of those videos, check the eye in the top right corner or the description down below but yeah it's been your boy Zyre and I'm out thanks for watching